What's up guys, Mac with MDC Diesel here. MDCDiesel.com is our website. I wanted to go over a couple of uh, thrust bearing options we've got here. These are the ones that we offer on our website. We get a lot of questions about these. This is our uh, standard thrust bearing that comes on all of our chargers, unless you're going to upgrade it, um, aside from our competition series chargers. This bearing right here is a brass 270 degree thrust bearing. It is obviously made out of brass. And the reason you call it a 270 degree bearing is because there's only 270 degrees of coverage right here, not a full 360 degrees like this guy right here. See how this one goes all the way around, full 360 degrees. So um, that is the nomenclature there that a lot of people use so that you can understand that. These basically have a, a washer that rides on these. This is the steel washer, obviously, that goes with the steel bearing, so these don't quite fit on this brass one right here. But basically, this will sit on the front side, and that one will sit on the back side, and that'll... Uh, basically hold your shaft in place right there. Now, I get a lot of questions as to which one's necessary, which one's better. Um, of course, this 360 is gonna have more surface area than this standard 270. Uh, it's also steel, it's also, um, you know, a little bit larger diameter. If you actually measure this, it measures about 10% wider um, diameter than this. So there's more surface area on this particular unit right here. Um, so this is ultimately gonna be better. It's gonna be the best option we offer. Um, it is great for making huge power. They turned out to be incredibly durable. Um, so there's really no reason not to go with it other than, of course, the cost. So um, this is a $175 option for all of our turbochargers. We can add them to any one of them. Um, they do come standard on our SXER turbochargers, which are our competition series chargers. Um, now on our standard units, they do come obviously with this brass unit, like I said. Um, this setup is perfectly fine for most people though. So if you're towing, you're daily driving it, beating around town, um, as long as your charger is properly sized for the setup, this bearing will be plenty. Um, you really don't need to upgrade past this if you are sized properly. Now, a lot of guys, if they're class limited or um, are sled pulling, spraying nitrous, things like that, they tend to overspeed their chargers more. So you end up with uh, a lot more failures or you know, sometimes you run them dry from oil for some reason. Um, stuff like that. Generally, this thrust bearing is not going to hold up as long. Obviously, it's a softer material. You're going to have a steel washer that rides on it, so it, it'll wear as soon as you overspeed it and displace that oil. Um, but as, if you're daily driving it, in theory, it should never have any wear. So um, I'll explain a little bit about how these these work right here. Let me zoom this over here and uh, show you on this cutaway we have right here. This thrust bearing. Let me see if I can zoom in here real quick. So this thrust bearing sits right here. This has got the brass 270 in it right now. And what this thrust bearing does is it prevents this shaft from moving forward and back. Oil comes down through this port, through this galley right here, and it comes right into the back of the thrust bearing. So you can see right here in the back of the thrust bearing, see if I can get it to focus, and there is an oil port right there, as well as right there and right there. And that oil comes and it goes into the thrust bearing into these holes and that gets between obviously the washer and the bearing itself and it causes this washer to essentially glide on oil so what's happening is this shaft on this bushing this bushing and on this bearing should essentially be floating on oil whenever it's running it should not be touching metal to metal so there should be no metal to metal contact on this setup at all so in theory as long as you are not displacing the oil on this by overspeeding or overloading the shaft you should not have any wear happen to these type of bearings. This is a hydrodynamic journal bearing. There should be no reason for wear unless you're overspeeding or overpowering the charger. So if your, si if your size charger is set up properly, no problem as far as running these standard bearings. Now, like I said, if you're beating the crap out of them, um, you know, you overspeed it for a little bit and you displace that oil and this touches steel to steel, yeah, it'll get a little hot, but generally they don't wear as much. So you don't have as much damage that happens with these. Um, they also have a larger surface area, so they have more oil to displace, so you can spin them a little faster, push them a little harder, and generally have less chance of displacing that oil in the first place. So, in theory, that one's a better bearing, and this one is obviously inferior. So, make that decision on your own, whether you think you need it or not, your driving style, stuff like that. Um, it's definitely worth the upgrade to go to the steel for peace of mind, but it is definitely not a requirement. So, um, that is Mac with MDC Diesel explaining our thrust bearings, and. Uh, 
give us a call if you have any questions.